Hi everyone, welcome. I'm Maggie of Maggie'sBus.com and I'm here live to just do a quick collective reading just to talk about the energies that are happening right now. Um, and before I do, I just wanted to quickly announce when you go to my page on my website, Maggie'sBus.com, any of the pages, if you've been there for, before, just make sure you hit F5 or refresh on your system. Um, because they're not, it's not refreshing after you've seen it. Uh, and it's just my hosting has, um, hasn't figured out how to do that yet. Hopefully they will someday. Um, and I know that there's a code to stick, stick in there in the website to make it that it refreshes like every 30 seconds. But how annoying is that? Because then it takes you to the top of the page and then you, you, you lose your spot wherever you're reading. So I just hit a five F5 so that you see any updates, especially because the, um, maggiesplus.com slash upcoming hyphen events. Um, because I'll, I'll be updating that. Um, of course, always go to my Facebook page. Um, Maggie, you know, facebook.com slash Maggie's because that will show you the most recent events. And as much as I can, I try to get that to Mira and my website, but it'll be there on my Facebook page first. So upcoming events, as you know, my class for Mystic Soul Cleanse, that program, that course, seven months long in the seven year, we're going through soul elements, uh, all right through the Lakota medicine wheel. I'm going to talk to you about all of that. We'll um, if you go to the page, you'll have a nice few minutes video to help explain what that's all about. So that'd be cool. Um, other fun things coming up here in Sedona, by the way, snow day today. I don't know if you can see the snow behind me. It's kind of like a little bright. Um, so February 10th, I'm going to be at a vendor fair at Courtyard by Marriott on Sedona for a few hours that evening. Uh, so come see me. You can have a mini session with me or just come check it out. And also there's music for the Vendi Psychic Health Fair. So come on in. Enjoy. Um, then uh, March 17th and 18th, spring equinox. So it's a Stone, Sedona spring equinox uh, renewal retreat I am offering with Melissa Brace coming together. We're going to take you to the vortexes. We're going to offer two minutes. We're going to, the first day is all about release this and shamanic extraction by me. Then you get the second day where you're receiving the attunements. We're going to Kachina and on the first day for sure. If, if another one pops up for that first day, we'll see because right, it's always channeled and in the moment and we do what, what is called for each group, whoever's coming in. So we tune into that energy. So the second day is the renewal aspect. So you'll get some beautiful activations on that day, taking you to very, very vortex forest. So that'll be cool in Sedona. So beautiful energies, come join me for that. Um, and then we also have, um, here I have in May, it's during the play in lineup, so it's going to be extra powerful for that galactic alignment. It's always more powerful when you have a cosmic event of some sort, a nice celestial event. So May 20th is in the middle of um, the Pleiadian lineup where the sun, the star, and the moon are in a straight line of energy. It happens twice a year. Um, and I am offering a Sedona Starseeds Masteries course that day. You're going to receive all four star rights. Um, I have many more cosmic uh, light code activations thereafter, of course, that have come in. Uh, but these are powerful. These um, start with your soul star, uh, right, and that aligns you to your soul's lineage, where you were, like, right, like where you were born, outside, like your first incarnation. Was it Earth? Um, Earth is one of the many starseed planets. We're all starseed, so come enjoy that. So we have soul star. Then we have the Lyran Triple Infinity Abundance, right? And that's connecting to the Lyrans, the manifestation, the abundance, the prosperity, and you get attuned. Um, then we have the Pleiadian Golden Woman Path, right, which aligns you to um, this 5D, especially assisting others as well as yourself in reaching, crossing over. When it's time to cross over to connect your energies to this 5D golden ribbon, a thread that is very ancient and powerful and many have connected to it to assist you in jumping forward as you cross over to the other side, to 5D and above. And then we have the Pleiadian Kotakuna Carpe, right? Uh, very ancient, right, as well. So you'll be receiving that. So that'll be powerful. And there'll be more. I um, am looking for a good date to offer Reiki uh, 1, 2, and 3 Master, Master Teacher for those called to that path. 
the healer's path and then also IET integrated energy therapy with the angels so I'm like working to see where those will fit properly and what resonates but I am called to offer those right and I have them as a one-on-one -on -one always so you just let me know uh, so I just really wanted to mention that very fast things that energy is coming in for the collective right now very much so feeling a lot of depression in the in the field um, a lot of depressions coming in people not feeling like they met their goals people wanting to meet their goals people feeling the right sad the um, seasonal affective disorder where it's like not sunny enough for people right so you don't get that vitamin D that extra outdoor time that right you're stuck inside or whatever that is is being felt by the many who um, experience that even on a small level and those who just experience it every year it seems to just get more and more every year for some people so oh thank you <laughs> um i uh right like i my family members i know like for me moving across the country really helped because in rhode island it just started to be overcast like half the year and i couldn't I was like, it's too much, but really it was even more than that. I was called to Sedona, of course, but, um, in Rhode Island, like the winters were like three, four, five months. And then it's like, then there was one year where the summers were, it was raining all the time and, and overcast. So it was like, you never even got that, right? You got it, but it wasn't like to the level that you're used to. So it was like, oh my gosh, lots and lots of overcast. So that, that's a fact. That will affect but like that depression's coming in and and i mentioned this before so it's just being mindful of your energies and then yes message for myself too be mindful of what you're eating food will drag your energy down there are foods that will up your lift uplift your energies in general obviously the stuff that's not processed so work with your energies and right even i'm being guided take that food journal write it down <laughs> thank you tracy um and write down what you're taking and what makes you feel good after and what drags your energy down and if you're having symptoms of things start to see what that's about and like check in check in with your energies be present right um so food's huge with aligning to your energies in a proper way and uplifting you so find those right oranges oranges are great they're joy energy too and lemons are high in vibration so start your day with some lemon water that's what i'm doing right now um went from celery reducing for three or four weeks and now i'm in lemon water in the morning first um but you right you do the things and and of course medical medium um has an amazing book with and several books with recipes to help you and i love his medical meet the medical mediums metal detox smoothie blueberries strawberries blackberries yeah i love it so um look at your food look at your situation are you in a situation that's like oh no i don't like this and then start to take those steps, even if they're little ones. And then it starts to uplift your energy like you know you're certain and you're reaching for those goals and you're you're going to get there. So um, that is just something in the field to be present with and meditate and get out in nature. Nature is truly going to help you, right? Intend to send it down to Gaia and up to the divine through the violet flame, right? Your diamond violet flame or violet flame of St. Germain will assist. Send it up to God, God is the divine, that source creator that created you. Um, and then, uh, let's pull some cards. So we have inner child attunement. It's a number three card, the trifecta, right? Three is very powerful. Uh, the triangle, the sacred geometry, the sun and like, well, the three phases of the moon and, um, I'm drawing a blank on all the threes, but I'm sure they're coming into your brain right now. And you're like, Maggie, think about this. <laughs> or like this song that was <laughs> wake up Maggie by Rod Stewart. I get that a lot. Um, go within listen loving parenting so yes there is a lot of beautiful children that need our high vibrational guidance and so it's just tuning in and what do they need and how do they need it when do they need it because they're uplifting our energies just by being here and then we're guiding them and doing our best as you know light workers and as people that are awake to share the the truth and not the um old past patterns and limiting beliefs that have occurred through the field we're ra raising our vibration made mother chrome thank you alicia that was the one i was like that's the one i always say <laughs> made mother chrome powerful threes those phases are important so this is also very much so us 
your inner child. So allowing your inner child to have a voice, but then also know that your inner child throughout our lives, we kind of become aware of it as we grow up that our inner child is really uh, bringing in some shadow stuff that we need to deal with. So allow it to have its voice. Go into meditation. Tune into your inner child and say, okay, thank you for um, keeping me safe and allowing me to process this in that whatever unhealthy way that was. But guess what? Now I can handle it in a more healthy way. So let's drive forward and thank you. But now we're going to, you know, allow you to have your voice and you know, be released. Let's grow up. I know how to handle this now. So listen to your inner child and allow the um, joy of your childhood, right? That joyful innocence to step forward always. Um, and then also a blue goddess did come to me and she looked a lot like that. Blue skin. And I know like in the Hindu tradition, when you see a blue so when you see, like, they showed their Hindu gods and goddesses blue because they say when you see this, when you see spirit, you see blue. So I was like, that's interesting. But also the next card, blue ray. So blue ray being, it's a number one card. So beginnings, stepping forward. So you honor the energies as they are. Work on that self. But remember to take it easy right now for the Northern Hemisphere. It's all about rest, rejuvenation. And even I push against that because I'm a fire sign and it's all about the doing. So it's just like, no, 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 you can rest. Because if you do now, it won't be as great as if you did it later when you took the rest. You'll be more full, right? Full with the beautiful energies, rejuvenated, refreshed, and more awareness will come in. You'll be clear. So this says, the little words on the card say, direct divine expression, bridge between dimensions. So you're, this is what's happening this year, is the seven year of spirituality and mysticism. We're connecting more so to the angels, to the ascended masters, the gods, goddesses, the divine beings, the blue ray energy coming in for healing us, uplifting us, and bringing that empowerment. So allow that blue ray energy, these cards really activate, right? So allow this beautiful blue ray energy to come in, right? You can even just tune into this and meditate. Step into that beautiful energy, um, Metatron, uh, sacred geometry. Step into the blue ray energy and allow it to clear you, cleanse you, and they'll bring in some beautiful guidance. They really want to help us on our path. I, I feel blessed. I don't know about you, but I feel blessed that we have angels and light beings and light team with us 24 seven. Anytime we have a question, we need guidance or just a hug, they're there and they're here to guide us and work with us to heal us on our journey. And they are also many of them, right? Our future selves uh, or our and or paradox, right? And or our multidimensional selves. And we're, what I've been saying all along, right? We're bringing those in and more and more and more are coming in to be integrated because we're raising our frequency and Gaia's and we're raising uh, we're like rising now. So we're bringing those energies in. All the blue, so, so Alicia, so I'm just reading your note. All the blue stones have been popping out to me lately. Celesti, Celesti angels, Crystal Cola, oh, so healing. Lapis, very empowering. And throat chakra, and always reminds me of Isis. Uh, Sodalite and Angelite, I love those. Uh, I, all of those, I love all of those stones, right? Sodalite is good if you have nightmares, good for children, good for your throat chakra again too. I love that. Um, and then blessing, blessing beyond the soul path is the next card, number three again. So yes. Um, hello, is there a charge for a reading? Oh, hi, Laura. Yeah. Um, if you go to my website, you can see if you would like a reading, um, a full on reading. Of course, I offer channelings and healing sessions, maggiesbliss.com. So feel free to check me out there right now. I'm doing the collective reading, um, and tuning in, right? So our final card for the collective is number three. Honor all life, exchange of joy without karma or sacrifice, blessing beyond the soul path. So this very much so is really telling me that um, as we ascend, we start to really appreciate what's around us, the animals, the plants, Gaia, all of the human beings, right? We're all here to ascend and we re remember our beautiful, powerful beingness and, and right so we're going to find that soul path along the way and honor all life, take care of all life. So 
um, we have to work on our own right judgments and our own filters of certain things, certain people and certain energies that come in and say, you know what? They're a sentient being and I'm going to give them the respect they deserve. However, I will set my boundaries and make sure that they're giving me the respect I deserve too. So we, we're sentient beings ourselves. So remember that when you're honoring all life, that includes yourself. So <laughs> the negative thoughts, the horrible eating, the... <laughs> And all the things that were like, oh, I'm not pretty enough. I'm not good enough. I didn't do that. You are good enough. The universe wants your expression and you are enough and everything is going to be okay. We are heading towards beautiful, like uh, there's so much amazing freedom that's coming in. We had the Aquarius new moon, powerful super new moon that came in. Those energies ushered in our new year for us in a powerful new way. And uh, hopefully you took an advantage of, you know, setting your intentions. You can still do that. Um, but this really tells me that there's just so much to appreciate and come into gratitude with. And you can start that. If you've never done a gratitude list every day for even 21 days, you reset your brain to do just that. Do one, set it. So you do three things you're grateful for every day. And if you're like me, you can't stop at just one or three, but you do that and you start to reset your brain to see more of that and you attract more of that to you. Um, and I didn't mean to pull another card and yet I did. Where did it go? Do, do, do. Oh my gosh. So this came in. All right. First, <laughs> another card just popped in while I was looking for the right, the right card, right? So, seven, spiritual number, our year, fullness of source, enough for all, open, abundance. So we're bringing in the abundance, and as you tune in, you honor all life, you work in the flow. Water is huge this year, water in the flow, and that's why my, uh, right, Last year, for the first time, I picked a word of the year, Mune, which equals love. And I had lots of energies uh, and lessons and things that really helped me tune into that vibration. And this year, I said, okay, I'll keep going one more year and see how it goes. And flow, flow like water was what came into me. So, chills with the abundance card, right? Because guess what? There's more than enough for everyone. And everyone deserves it. And the more we accept the abundance for ourselves, it gives others permission to say, hey, I could be abundant too. And then when you see it in other people, but not in you, like you're seeing lack, that's not a good place to be. Instead, when you see it, you start to realize that, oh, that's a mirror reflection. That is amazing. We can be happy for others and their success and for ourselves and wherever we are. And when we're happy for others and their success, it just flows. It flows for them, it flows for us. And as they win, we win, right? And it, it, so we're all one, we're all gonna merge together. So it's like, we want everyone to come into their true light awareness and their true soul's mission, their path to have abundance, to have love, to have peace, tranquility, to have excellent health. Everyone is deserving of abundance and excellent health and in money and prosperity and peace and, and joy. So then I didn't realize another card is coming in that I love. So, um, I connect very much. So with the crystal city beneath Sedona, um, I love it. It's amazing. And it's so funny because this card is called, it's a number 10 card, which is endings and beginnings. So we're stepping through another doorway and to who oh, the crystal city. This is Mount Shasta, of course, which is awesome. I've been there. So I'm happy to say I now have like a physical imprint in this physical body of being there. Um, tell that what it says on the card, telos, which is, um, another word for middle earth. Uh, Adama, someone's going to have to help me out with that one. Um, inner earth, etheric retreats and family of light. So there's going to be a lot of this this year, stepping into new doorways into, and right for me, I really, really connect with middle earth as well. The beings there, um, they're just, my soul family is you know, a part of them are like, I know I've lived with them. So other lives. Uh, and I know that my one of my first incarnations on planet Earth was in Sedona. So when I came back here first time and every single time after, 
just home. And now that I live here, home <laughs> again. Uh, but so we have the Cities of Light is what that's called. And so guess what? It has some stones here that remind me of Stonehenge that's been coming up too. Do check into your intuition. So there's going to be a lot of people watching this one that they're meant to travel especially those Sagittarius folk, but travel to special places to connect to the high frequencies of either Sedona, Stonehenge, Egypt, Mount Shasta, all over the world. There are so many points of the ley lines that meet and converge and create this powerful vortex energy. So where you're called is where you're meant to go. Are you called to Mount Shasta because you're seeing this card? Are you called to Stonehenge? Do you see it when you see those stones? Do you see something else when you see this card and say, oh my gosh, I was actually called to go to this place, this forest, this whatever. So you go there and you're meant to receive the energies, clear the energies often, right, of whatever you had imprinted in your past lives and then receive and then perhaps send in, right? So you, right, clear receive, send, like there's a balance of giving and receiving. So there's a lot of that beautiful work that it comes in. So check it out. See if that calls to you. Um, because there's, there's going to be a lot of people here, but guess what else? Step into meditation and you're going to open those doorways for yourself wherever you are. So it doesn't always mean you're going to be traveling with your physical body. There's a lot of people that are going to travel and do a lot of astral projection work as their their vehicle in these places so you might be going to these place to, places actually already probably are and you you'll be going there again like in several journeys meditations activations and attunements these are going to uplift your energies so it's about enjoying and experiencing all that you can when when you're called right you feel a call in your heart and your soul so hopefully <laughs> all of that amazing stuff coming in is helping you uh, be mindful of, right, the depression that I mentioned at the beginning of this video and like tune in and align to those, um, do the, do the shadow work, do the inner reflection, um, see what the messages are for you and then start to attune and align to higher vibrations, feel the freedom that's coming in now, all the planets coming direct and spring's going to be coming for us in the Northern hemisphere. So those in the Southern hemisphere, you're in summer and one of, one of the many, <laughs> seasons I love. My favorite is autumn, but I do love spring and summer and winter has its place in my heart in small pieces. So I'm very happy to be in Sedona where they have winter snow, um, but not very often, <laughs> not for long. So uh, have an amazing week and I hope to see you guys soon, either for one of my channelings, energy healings, or one of my classes or the several upcoming uh, events. Um, so check out either my Facebook page events for that or on my website. Remember to hit refresh F5. Roses and lavender have been coming into my awareness. This is what Alicia is saying into my awareness a lot lately as well as which to me call for self-love, self-healing. I love it. Make sure I can see the whole thing. Oh, right. Yeah. Seasonal depression and roses. This is so funny. Yes. Cause I was just on Bell Rock like a week and a half, two weeks ago. I think it was winter solstice, um, where someone had set up this really beautiful and I posted the pictures of it too. Beautiful cross, uh, made of rocks and roses. And I was like, that's beautiful. It was like in this like area of Mount Bell Rock where you climb up more than halfway. And it's like, I call it the cliff walk. For me, it's the cliff walk. <laughs> um, might not be cliff completely, but it's more to closer to the edge than I don't always like. However, in Sedona, I have that has that feeling of safety for me. I feel right. The cross too. So, um, it, the roses are very powerful and high in vibration. Rose essential oil, rose, right? The rose ray is actually a magenta in color, which is so funny because at the time when I would hear people say rose ray, I would think it would be, you know, like reddish. <laughs> and then when I started seeing it and I said, hey, I see this magenta color. And they're like, yeah, that's the rose ray. I said, shut up. Because <laughs> I didn't know the rose ray was actually magenta. <laughs> like that hot pink, almost hot pinkish color, but it's beautiful. Divine feminine energies, bringing it in, balancing both, right? Um, yeah, I'm not religious either, but the cross is a beautiful symbol. Is it in the ink? Yes, Egypt. Um, 
magenta. So the cross like equal in all directions. It's a part of the medicine wheel. So, oh, I love it. So I'll be seeing you guys very soon. Have an amazing rest of your week in Monet. Blessed be.